Spring is in the air and for allergy sufferers, there lies the problem, but May is clean air month and Sean Denning is a respiratory therapist for Corner Home Medical and he has some good advice for us here at four o'clock to help you breathe a little bit easier this time of the year. That's very important. It is uh, exactly. Good to have you here with us. We appreciate Pleasure to be it. Here. It's perfect. Uh, this really is a tricky time of the year, you were saying for a lot of people. It is. It's a huge time. Uh, everybody wants to be outside. Everything's blooming right now. You mm -hmm. have pollen going through the air. Uh, you have a lot of molds that are in the dirt because you want to garden. Mm -hmm. uh, molds also in the grasses and everybody wants to get outside, yeah. right? But the main thing is we want to make sure that we take care of those allergies by actually taking care of a few things in the home. Yeah. Uh, you know, like our couches and our upholstery, we make sure you clean those. Uh, okay. The furnace filter, you got to change those. Make sure you actually have a nice uh, uh, furnace filter. Yeah. Uh, on the vacuums, make sure you clean the vacuums, make sure you have a good bag in there while you're okay. vacuuming, you're okay. cleaning up. So besides just in the inside, we also have to take care of the outside. Absolutely. So we're talking first there just about the things that you can tangibly do inside your own home. Uh, for people that might be really prone to these things, it, trouble breathing this time of the year, uh, you say you want to limit being outside a little bit this time of the year. Obviously, you want to enjoy the sunshine. That's hard. But uh, what should people be doing outdoors? Yeah, uh, I'm sure there's a number of your viewers that actually have asthma, sure. uh, COPD, which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and then sleep apnea. Uh, mm -hmm. So the ones that are asthmatic or chronic obstruction of pulmonary disease, make sure they're using their medications before they go outside. Yeah. Uh, they can use maybe a mask that you might see, a small little mask that kind of keeps the large particles away while you're breathing in. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just timing the, how, uh, what you're doing outside. Also, you can look at different apps to see what the pollen count is before you're actually going outside. Okay, so, so that's really another dialed tool. into that. You can, and I know we talk about that a lot here on CARE 11. You can check the news and see what, see exactly what it is that day. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. do that for sure. Uh, yeah. So for people that use a lot of these machines, uh, things like sleep apnea, you talked about um, some mm -hmm. other conditions there, cleaning them. This is a really good time of the year to do that as well. It is, because when okay. you have allergies, you have a lot of uh, uh, drainage, right? Sure. Itchy eyes, a lot of congestion. So people that are on oxygen at home, uh, they have a small thing called a cannula. You want to change those out every couple days because of the mm -hmm. congestion. Okay. Uh, people with sleep apnea, uh, you want to make sure your masks and everything are cleaned every single day. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a device here that actually can clean those masks for you. And then there's filters attached to all these. You want to make sure those filters are cleaned also. If you're not cleaning them, can it really present a lot of problems? It, it can. It can. Yeah. It can cause a lot worse, make those uh, symptoms last longer than you really want to. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff to, to be thinking about. Any other important things that you want people to know about just to be able to take a deep breath a little bit easier this time of the year? Yeah. Well, hopefully the weather changes a little bit, the rain yeah. coming, you know, that'll help a little bit and just be a lot of proactive. Uh, yeah. and your breathing gets a really shorter breath. Make sure you talk to your physician. Sure. And, and I, a lot of people that actually, even myself included, I don't normally suffer from allergies this time of the year, but even this year I've felt it. I, are you seeing people kind of suffering maybe to a greater degree this year? Yeah, we're starting to see a little more number of people, uh, our own patients, our clients are actually calling, asking certain questions. Sure. Uh, the ones that are on the devices, they think the devices are failing, but it really it's the allergies. Yeah, some good things that you can do. Um, appreciate the time. Hey, As pleasure. Always. Yes. Appreciate it. Thank uh, you very some much. Good information. Uh, if you didn't catch all of this, go to care11.com. Uh, we'll be sure to post this segment there for you as well. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.